You know, I, I, I was uh, here when it when they first opened that weekend, and it was quite a carnival affair. Steve Stavros was here. They had, uh, uh, you know, free hot dogs. There was pop. Uh, Whoa. You know, it was quite a, as I say, a carnival atmosphere. It was kind of, it was kind of interesting. I think it might have been the largest single store. Join the growing number of smart shoppers that are switching to Knob Hill Farms. Now, Steve Stavros, as you probably heard, uh, I used to hear that he would come every every week. He'd come to his, come to the store. Like he was a very hands-on uh, gentleman. Like mm -hmm. he was a proud owner of Knob Hill Farms. He's, he'd spend a lot of time down here. Like down here in this Knob Hill Farms? Store, yeah, he would go around all of them. Yeah, I think it ended up, he probably, you would know better, but I think he had something like 10 stores at the end. He did. And, uh, but he, he was very hands-on. Yeah. Goes back to his uh, early Macedonian uh, upbringing, I guess, when his father had a, had a little grocery store and they'd go out at 4, 4, 4.35 in the morning and they'd yeah. pick up produce, you know, down yeah. at the terminals. You know, it would draw people in from Bowmanville and Newcastle and even Port Hope and Peterborough and those areas. A grocery store? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because huh. they could come down and they could stock up on these items, you know, these huge quantities. Much, much like Oshawa Center, you know, which is a regional mall that brings in people from from a huge hinterland. And I think Knob Hill Farms, I think, did the same as well. meat counter that was 150 feet, 200 <laughs> feet long for this meat counter with all this incredible array of, of choices. A lot of the food types were here that we weren't normally used to, you know, yeah. Anglo-Saxon, you're used to certain types of foods. All of a sudden uh, in this counter that was uh, the length of a football field, you'd find full rabbits or you'd find a, a, the head of a pig. Yeah, but this was this is really innovative. This was before, uh, you know, as we talk about the superstores and Costco, and that's probably one of the probably drove them out of business because yeah. of uh, you know the competition. You're going to see its cycle track and those paths along one of which goes up near Durham College. You know, you're, those paths are going to be very significant movers of people, like students on, on multimodal transportation, that sort of thing. So that that whole area of Oshawa is going to change fairly significantly. Yeah, it's, it's quite a place. It's now uh, gone derelict again, as you can see. And then within the next uh, year or two, it's going to be like the uh, the phoenix rising from the ashes a second time as it's going to become the uh, the Metrolinx.